In this quick video, let's see what it takes to export out a transparent uh, file out of ZBrush. Maybe you want to use it for, uh, you know, for some kind of uh, art element and you don't want to take the time to import into uh, a different program to do like a high-end uh, render. Maybe you just need something uh, fast, cheap, and quick. And from ZBrush, uh, there is a way to get this whatever you're sculpting as a transparent image. So uh, let's do that real quick. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to render and I'm going to turn off my uh, under BPR shadows. I'm going to turn off my uh, floor shadows to pretty much 0.01. I guess it doesn't go to zero. And now all I'm going to do is just do a BPR render. So this is my render. So let's say I want this image to be in Photoshop as a transparent image. So how do I do it? So to do it, what I'm going to do is go to document, say export, save your uh, image. I'm going to save mine as PSD and just say save. And the only other thing you need to do is go to render and then go to uh, go to BPR render pass and click on the mask button. Once you do that, make sure you save that as well. Now hop into Photoshop. So now in Photoshop, let's open both of those files. All right, so once they're both open, now all we need to do is just simply apply this mask to our image. So to do that, let's go ahead and do select all, let's copy it. And now I'm going to go to my image, go to channels, press plus, and then just paste our mask in. Now, if we hold down the control key and click, we get a uh, selection around our image. Now, if we go back to layers, we can just double click on the image and say, okay. And now you can see that the uh, selection uh, was applied to the image, right? So now we can do simply edit cut and then do uh, control shift V to put it back in. So that's one way of doing it. And now if you get rid of this background, you can see that your image is nice and anti-alias and it's totally transparent. So now obviously you can do anything you want to your image. You can uh, maybe create a different background. And let's do something more interesting, maybe a gradient. So you can see it actually came uh, real nice. We can add a stroke to it if we wanted to. So we can do any, uh, any art changes that we want right here in Photoshop. So that's how easy and fast it is to export image from um, ZBrush. So I hope you found this helpful and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.